much has been talked about about the history that Gilberto can make when he, he trips over that doesn't make it pretty, but he can fight. So the Southpaw Ramirez, Gergo, goes south. I think he has a big future. He could be a world champion. He could be a world champion. Adds to the marketability of the, of the young White, red, and blue trim. And let's take a look at what happened there. You see that yeah. they both landed, and then that quick little right, I don't know if it was kind of a half hook almost. Yeah, yeah it was a, a right a, a right hook, but it landed cleanly. Boom. Oh. Look at Abraham was throwing a punch at the same time. Feeling rich that he really, you know, he was really loose, really settled down. <laughs> nice step around that. See his body head back to the body to try to go up. It, and I think it's the biggest weakness in boxing scoring. Here, part of that uh, varied attack of Gilberto Ramirez closing off that uh, exchange with an excellent body punch. Although you could see him actually picking up in yeah. confidence, throwing that right there, managing to get it in. You know, he worked. <laughs> really trying to work uh, underneath the elbows of the champion. The champ Ramirez showing that educated right hand, very good. <laughs> Now, as he came forward, you see that punch had a little bit of an effect on Arthur Abraham. It did. It staggered him. That changed the way I scored the round. Right. Now, this is a round. Gerdo <laughs> having a real good round. This is the way he could be a blow in there. <laughs> Unless he can force 10 in. One thing you'll notice during the game, the fact that uh, Roberto Ramirez has never switched up to has never gone right. And he says, frankly, he can't do it. He says,